let's do it. And we'll take the knife here, and let's start with some Prussian blue, Van Dyke brown. These two are at about equal parts, and a touch of a lizard crimson. So we have blue, brown, and crimson. Mix it up, pull it out very flat. Let me clean the knife so you can see this well. Okay, come right up here. Now, cut across this and get a little roll of paint right on the edge of the knife. This is where the straight edge on the knife really comes in handy and makes the knife much, much easier to load. All right, let's go up here. Now, probably one of the simplest mountains to make and also the most popular is the little snow-covered mountains. Now, take the knife, you have that little roll of paint on there, and push very hard, very hard. And all you're trying to do here is push in a basic shape, just a very, very basic shape. The only thing that you're worried about at this point is this nice outside edge. You could care less what's happening in here. Anything can happen in there. We don't care. All right. We're just worried about the edge. Scrape off all the excess paint. You can probably hear how hard I'm scraping the canvas. You're not going to hurt the canvas. Really scrape it off. Okay. Now, one thing also to remember about mountains, if you can see the entire mountain, it's always more distinct at the top than it is at the bottom, because at the bottom we have mist, we now have pollution. These things break up and diffuse light and cause it to look soft and misty on the bottom. Okay, so to create that effect, watch right here. Take the two-inch brush, push it, bend it, and pull it. See, that's wet. And you can slide the paint on there, and automatically it mixes with a liquid white, and you get that blended effect at the base without doing anything. back. I'm certainly glad you decided to spend a half hour with us today. I think you'll enjoy the little painting we're going to do, and I hope you take the time to paint along. Or you pull up your old easy to it. Let's have some fun. I'm going to mix up some black, Prussian blue. Oops, shoot, we'll throw some Van Dyke, some crimson in there. A little sap green. Whatever you got. Just mainly dark colors. There, let me clean the knife off. Now let's use, let's use our old fan brush today. Let's go in here and load some color right onto the brush. Just load both sides of the brush up. Now then, let's have some fun. Let's just push in. Maybe there's some little background things that live wee back in the distance back here, far away. And I'm just pushing and making the bristles bend upward. Just, uh, just la 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 do 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 do. Just be happy, enjoy, have fun. There. Now I want some reflections under this, so I just grab the bottom of it and pull it straight down. See there? Because the canvas is wet, <laughs> you can do this and get away with it. If you had a dry canvas, you'd be in agony city. Then go gently across, just like so. See and instant reflections. That easy. Maybe, maybe in our world back here, maybe there's a happy little tree that lives right here, a little evergreen tree. See, just touch and then use just the corner of the brush and work back and forth, back and forth. And we got a little tree. Maybe he's got a friend here that's a little bigger. There. Tree needs a friend too. There he is. Now see, I'm sort of weird. I name all these little trees and talk to them. And, but that's okay. That's okay. Artists are supposed to be a little, a little different. There. So we can get away with things like that. Maybe out here there's a little baby tree. Maybe they ran him off, made him go live out here by himself. So we'd lay in a basic shape, just using the brown. We don't know where this path goes. It goes up here and hides behind the bushes somewhere. Just basic shape. And then we'll take some white, a little dark sienna. And let's come back in here. And just let this barely, barely graze. 
just okay. It's just like putting snow on the mountain. It's the same, same exact technique. A little more of the liquid white. Back into my yellows and greens. Now then you have to start making decisions. Are these bushes in front of you evergreen or behind them? I think they're in front. So let them come right over in the, right over in front of it. There. Vary your colors and drop them in. Every once in a while I'll drop in a little yellow ochre and Indian yellow, a little bright red. There's a, a sparkler right there. Beautiful little bush. Another little green one. And as many as you want, but work in layers. Remember that these bushes are individuals. Do one at a time. There we go. See now, let some of these things come up over the path. That'll push the path down into your painting. Don't want that path just to float around. See there? Now then, we can take the knife and just scrape in a few little sticks and twigs here and there. You've got a finished painting. I hope you've enjoyed this one. It'll certainly teach you how to use all the equipment and have a lot of fun. From all of us, happy painting and God bless.